Main. Euh, bonjour tout le monde. Est-ce que vous m'entendez euh, Est-ce que vous me voyez Alors, est-ce que vous m'entendez Est-ce que vous me voyez euh, Bonjour à tous. Bonjour Eoja. Bonjour euh, Moni. Bonjour Adrienne. Pardon, je n'arrive pas à lire votre nom. Euh, vos prénoms, Sorapi, Steve. Bonjour à tous. Euh, bonjour à l'Australie, à Melbourne. Bonjour Francis et Hélène et Neil Hutchinson. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Super euh, heureuse de vous voir ici aujourd'hui. Euh, bonjour, Simon. Simon, euh, bonjour Ezra, bonjour à tout le monde. Alors, aujourd'hui, nous allons essayer de comprendre l'utilisation de être en train de, être sur le point de et venir de. Now, today, guys, we're going to try to understand how French speakers use the uh, expression uh, verbale être en train de, être sur le point de, and venir de. And I know that it's going to help you a lot in terms of trying to speak with the present tense in the future, in the past, and in the present. Bonjour Ali, bonjour à tous. Uh, now, remember, this is an open live, which means that everybody is invited to these live lessons. However, this is the open live just before the exclusive live, which will take place at 12.30, where we are going to cover a TAF exercise on the TEF exam. So if you want to join us, and I can see that we have some members uh, in green, these guys uh, can join me at 12.30 as well, if you want to do that. Bonjour à tous. Alors, we are going to start and I'm going to tell you why knowing these three uh, verbs are really important or more, you know, verbal group uh, sentences. Okay, here we go. Let me share my screen and let me try to explain actually how using this expression, because today it's all about that. If you have any question, I'm happy to answer them, but I'm going to go through this lesson. We are going to do an exercise based on that. And so if I have some time at the end of it, I will. Uh, if Is live lesson on? Dr. Ross Lebar, yes, live lesson is on. I am live at the moment speaking to you live. Okay, to represent three tenses in French, we usually have tenses such as the present tense, which you can see here, the future tense, okay, here and the past tense. And usually we have proper tenses for that. Le présent de l'indicatif, le futur de l'indicatif et le passé composé ou l'imparfait or any other past tenses. And the way we do that is by putting special endings on the verb in order to indicate when the action takes place. However, sometimes you can use the present tense and this phrasal group here. Être sur le point de. So here, in order to represent the future, all you need to know is how to use être in the present tense. So I'm going to explain that to you in a minute. So do not worry, okay? You can as well represent the immediate present by using this, être en train de. And you can represent the immediate past as in something you've just done by using venir de. These expressions have one thing in common. Okay, what do they have in common? Can you see what they have in common? De. De. Okay, and the reason for that is because after de, it leads to it. It leads to, yes, radial, well done. It leads to an infinitive verb, okay? So I'm going to explain to you and then we will do an exercise and see how well you get on with these three expressions, okay? So the past tense is about saying, I have just done that. It's an action that happens just literally now, okay? The present tense with être en train de is, I am doing it at the minute. And the future with être sur le point de, I am about to do this. Like, like I'm about to, to do this lesson, okay, about 
être sur le point de, weirdly. Is être sur le point de, like, je vais, plus, like, in the future, uh, proche. Parul, it's a very good question. It is and it is not. If you use to go and the infinitive, it's still a possibility that this action is going to be further in the future. However, when you use être sur le point de, it's something you're just about to do. Okay, so in terms of placing them in the future, aller plus the infinitive would be further out than être sur le point de, if that makes sense to you. Okay, hi, <laughs> sorry, I can't, I can't read that. Hi, salut. Um, okay, alors, let's have a look at first of all the past, okay, which we called le passé récent. Now, le passé récent, c'est quoi? What is it? In French, To talk about something you have just done, you need to use venir. Now, venir means to come, weirdly. But add de and an infinitive, it means you've just done it. Okay, so venir de suddenly is used as I have just done it. But you use venir on its own, it means to come. So, je viens, I'm coming, okay, or I come. Tu viens, etc. But add de and a verb to it, then you've just done it. So, as an example, je viens de terminer cette série. I have just finished this TV show. Now, what's interesting about this is that all you need to know is how to conjugate venir in the present tense in order to represent what you've just done. And that is quite easy if you know how to conjugate, you know, venir in the present tense, which I'm going to do in a minute. Uh, sorry, just what is the difference between the past and the future? Être. The, oh, right, Zenab, we, you will see that here, we don't even have to conjugate être in the future and être in the past. I will show you how to do that, okay? Not for these expressions. You don't have to do it. You just have to conjugate them in the present tense and they will I indicate whether this action has just happened, is happening right now, will just uh, happen or is about. Okay. Um, uh, so, pourriez-vous garder cette vidéo pour votre chaîne, s'il vous plaît? Uh, Jean, um, oh Jean, John, um, this is It's going to be on the channel. This video is going to stay on the channel, okay? So don't worry, it is going to be on the channel, okay? So, is this real live stream? Yes, okay, it's a real live stream. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's so funny. Why are people thinking it's not a real live stream? Okay, alors, uh, on va commencer. Je viens de terminer cette série. I have just finished this TV show. Elle vient de acheter une maison. She just bought a house. Okay, so it's bizarre because we're using the present tense, but yet it represents something we've just done. Why? Because we are using venir de. Yeah, use venir on its own in the present tense wouldn't work. Okay, so nous venons de déjeuner. We've just had lunch. So what you need to know is how, how to conjugate venir in the present tense. So, venir de, je viens de, tu viens de, il vient de, elle vient de, nous venons de, vous venez, nous venons de, pardon, vous venez de, ils viennent de, elles viennent de. So, This verb venir is a third group verb. You just need to learn it by heart. Okay, so je viens, elles viennent, etc. So de plus an infinitive represents something you've just done. Okay, do not mistake it with elle vient de Paris. She comes from Paris. Paris is a place, it's not a verb. So she just not come from Paris. Do you understand? If you add an infinitive, then it represents an action that I've just right happened now. Okay. Vous venez de commencer ce... Yes! Riyadoul, par exemple, 
vous venez de commencer cette leçon. Parfait, n'est-ce pas? Euh, venir is easy to conjugate, Michael. So, that, that's my point. If it's easy to conjugate, then you can represent, hey, I've just done that. OK, je viens de commencer cette leçon. Now, let me uh, go over, être sur le point de. So, if I go back, so we've done venir de. OK, now we are about to do how to represent the future using être sur le point de. I'm about to do it. Être sur le point de. Now, être sur le point de. So, if you want to say that you're about to do something, so it's going to happen in the future really soon. You're going to have to use être sur le point de because we don't have a tense for I'm going to do it soon. So to be on the point of, basically, that's what it means. And de plus an infinitive. Okay, for example, you conjugate être in the present tense. Je suis sur le point de and then partir. So I am about to leave. Okay, je suis sur le point de partir. Je suis sur le point de partir. Okay, nous sommes sur le point de arriver. We are about to arrive. OK? Elle est sur le point de She is about to drink a coffee. De boire un café. OK? Euh, Anne Zara, je viens de finir mes devoirs refers to venir de. Absolutely. Well done. It's really good. Are you going to do everyday life? No, I do live every two weeks on average. <laughs> Now, remember this life is open to all. We have, however, and I'm going to show you at 12.30, a lesson on uh, for exclusive members. So the people you see that have bought the course on the website and the people that have are a member of my uh, YouTube channel. So they, they pay, um, I don't think it's a lot of money. How much did they pay, Liam, to access the live? $2.99 a month, I think. But the people that are on the website uh, actually uh, pay to have access to everything and the live as well. Okay. Um, speaking of venir, I have a question, madame. Is vu also the same with venir? And how can it be vu? No, it's, it's completely different. Vu is the past participle of voir, which is to see. Venu is the past participle of venir. So be very careful. You don't need that for what we are trying to do. And this is what's good about it. So a quick reminder. Être sur le point de. Je suis sur le point de. I am about to do something. Can you see what we've done? So you conjugate je suis. Tu es, il est, elle est. So I am, you are, he is, she is. In a present tense, easy. Nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. And then you add sur le point de plus l'infinitif. Okay? And the infinitive. Okay? And that represents that, that something you're just about to do. Can I join the membership? Who, of course, you click on the join button underneath the video, yeah? Or when you are on the channel Learn French with Alexa, you click on Join and you see all the options that we have. We have a new one that is called the Discord. If you have any questions related to French, we will answer. I'll get all my people to answer the questions that you may have. Now, uh, I'm not sure if I understand. Comment faites-vous avec les malades? How to get access to the video guide? Oh, well, uh, if you are, yeah, because you will have access to the guides as well. And these are available on the private community as well. Okay, if you are a member of the, U the, the Learn French with Alexa website, the video guides are under the video, uh, under the, the live. Okay. Oh, thank you. Liam is answering. Je suis sur le point de manger. Merci. Yes. Merci. Et sur le point de manger. So, merci is just about to eat. Perfect. That is perfect. Okay. So, let me now go towards être en train de, which is the present. There is only one present tense in French. So, it's je mange. I eat. And we do not have uh, the continuous tense that there is in English, like I am eating, I am in the process of eating. We don't have that. So in order to do that in French, we use 
être en train de. OK? So, I'm, I'm, I'm about to... No, no, not about. I am eating at the present. And how do you do that? You conjugate je suis and you add en train de plus the infinitive. So, an example. Je suis en train de travailler. I am working. I am in the process of working. Moi, je suis en train de donner une leçon. This is what I'm doing at present. I'm giving a lesson. OK? Elle est en train de manger. She is eating. She is in the process of eating. She is eating right now. Nous sommes en train de jouer. We are playing right now. Okay, that represents a, um, an immediacy. Okay. So, uh, je suis sur le point de dîner aux Philippines. Michaelia, yeah, absolument, je suis sur le point. Uh, il est sur le point de venir. Il est sur le point... D'arriver, oui, bientôt, parfait. Which verb is more appropriate? Il est sur le point de venir. Ah ben, it depends. Il est sur le point d'arriver, ok. Il est sur le point de venir, and then you need to tell me where. Ok, de venir de la gare de Paris, par exemple. Euh, je suis sur le point de regarder la Television, Zenap. Now, be careful when you are using the, um, uh, the infinitive, you need to make sure your verb is in its infinitive vo form, which means not conjugated. You can see that in travailler because it has ER at the end. It's not conjugated. Manger, ER. Jouer, ER. And that's another uh, lesson completely. We have three verb groups, okay? The regular verbs, where all the infinities end with ER, except for aller, ER, but that's a one, the only exception of the ER verb. And then you've got the IR verb, which is a regular verb of the second group, but they're always conjugated the same way. And then you've got the rest. Okay, Richard Foster, bonjour. Thank you for becoming a member. Cool, thank you so much. And I hope to see you in the next lesson, which is going to be fairly more complicated than this one. Okay, so here we go. Conjugated the same way. Je suis en train de. I am in a process of plus the infinitive verb, okay? Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont, elles, ils sont, elles sont. En train de, okay? Je suis en train d'étudier uh, uh, Jayati. Absolument, bravo. I am in the process of studying. OK? And if you wanted to, uh, to say it in the past, je viens d'étudier. Ou je viens juste d'étudier. If you wanted to, to say what I've just literally done that. OK? Je suis en train de boire uh, un café. Absolument. Uh, docteur nous, is, nous a... Bah, sorry. <laughs> je suis sur le point de dormir. Cal! My God, you're amazing! Well done! You get it! Well, I'm, I'm really, really, really proud of you. Okay, now, here comes something slightly more difficult. I would like you to try to translate this for me. They are crying. So you're going to use, okay, not the normal present tense, but using one of the three uh, phrases that I have just taught you. How would you say they are crying? Using L as they. How would you say they are crying? Okay, so they are crying. So I'm going to go back. Which one of these expressions are you going to use? Okay, I'm going to just erase. They are crying. Which one of them are you going to use? Être en train de, être sur le point de, ou venir de. Okay, here we go. Elles sont, ils sont en train de pleurer. Ils pleurent. Zach? That's good. Il pleure is they are crying, but I want you to use one of my phrases. Elles sont en train de pleurer. Elles sont en train de pleurer. Elles sont en train de pleurer. Ils sont en train de pleurer. Elles sont en train de crier. Crier is cream, OK? Uh, pleurer is cry. Uh, John, elles sont en train de pleurer. Elles sont en train de pleurer. Remember, we need the infinitive ER at the end. OK. Elles sont en train de pleurer. Perfect. You're good. Shannon, elles sont en train de pleurer. I am so, so proud of you. It's incredible, actually. 
Incredible. Okay, so here we go, and we have exactly that. Elles sont en train de pleurer. I'm going to write it here. How did we do that? Well, quite simply, we decided that être en train de was the right expression to express the uh, presence. So we conjugate elles sont, they are, and then we add en train de. Oh. And by the way, it doesn't mean you're in the train. Elles sont dans le train means they are in the train, but elles sont en train de means they are in the process of crying, pleurer. Okay? Now, numéro 2, if I find it again, here we go. He is about to eat. He is about to eat. He is about to eat. Eat. Okay. How would you translate he's about to eat? So I'm going to go back to my three thing. Which one of them are you going to say he is about to eat? Okay. Alors, he is about to eat. Chris, il est sur le point de manger. Sapan, il est sur le point de manger. Il est sur le point de manger. Cal, euh, il est sur le point de manger. Ils sont sur le point de manger. Watch out, Ali. It's a singular. So, Il, with no S, means it's E and not son. Okay? The, the two that you've written don't go together unless you put il with an S. Il est sur le point de manger. Il est sur le point de manger. Il est sur le point de manger. Now, you get it. And I'm so, so proud of you. It's incredible. So, il est sur le point because we've just learned that être sur le point de, okay, means... We are just about to do something. It's going to happen in the future. So, yes, Zach, il est sur le point de manger, I guess. No, you guess right, Zara. You're good. Bravo. Uh, il est sur le point de manger. So, he's about to eat. Okay? So, let's have a look because, well, it seems like, you know, I thought, oh, it's going to take a long time to explain, but it seems like you are incredible at it. On daily, I'm incredible at it. Mm -hmm. They are. Numéro 3. So, number 3. We've just gone out of the house. We have just gone out of the house. Now, the what you need to, to realize is that don't try to translate we have just gone out because that's going to be really hard to do. Think of that. What expression are you going to use in the present tense that can relate this idea? We have just gone out, okay? And uh, Shilpa, nous venons de sortir de la maison. Parfait. Nous venons de sortir de la maison. And Vi, ya, ya Kumar, oh, you're answering, il est sur le point de manger, that's good. Nous venons de sortir de la maison. Nous venons, uh, Shilpa, uh, bravo. Uh, ya, um, ya Yati, nous venons de sortir de la maison. Alors, uh, Michaelia, on vient de sortir de la maison works. Absolutely, we've just, you know, using the on. I like that. Uh, Parul, nous venons de sortir de la maison. Holly, nous venons de sortir de la maison. And it's exactly that. Don't try to translate I, we have just gone. Okay. Mm. Nous venons de... OK, nous venons de sortir de la maison is perfect. All you need to know is how to conjugate venir in the present tense. So, nous venons de sortir de la maison. OK, we've just left the house. We've just left. Nous venons de partir de la maison. Vous pouvez dire ça aussi. OK, we've just left the house. OK, you're good. You're very good. You're doing really, really well. Uh, nous venons de sortir de la maison. Okay. So, another one. We are studying. Which one are you going to do? We are studying. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show you anymore. Remember, we have venir de, past, être en train de, present, et sur le point de, future. So, which one is... You are studying. Using tu, tu es en train d'étudier. Now remember, we don't say de étudier, but we put the two together, de apostrophe étudier. Perfect. Tu es en train d'étudier. Uh, can I have a shout out? Oh, I can't see your name. It's going too fast. <laughs> Scrolling. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, Yanya. 
Yanya, here we go, I'm shouting you out. Ok, tu es en train d'étudier, parfait. Euh, Paroul, tu es en train d'étudier. Uh, Ali, Manishi, tu es en train d'étudier. And I love that you are doing well at conjugating as well. Benjamin, tu es en train d'étudier. Cal, parfait, tu es en train d'étudier. Chris, tu es, I-S, watch out Chris, uh, about your conjugation, but tu es en train d'étudier means you are studying now. Ok, so that's perfect. Tu es en train d'étudier. Quatre. Tu es en train de. Now remember, être en train de means to be in the process of. Et, oh, d'étudier, sorry, d'étudier. Ok, ok. So, d apostrophe because étudier begins with a vowel. Ok, numéro 5. And we've got one more like that before uh, we stop. They have just won a prize. They have just won a prize. Prize, prize yeah, I, I thought so. And, and you know what? Um, uh, weirdly, Adam did check it over. <laughs> They've just won a prize. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> alors, they, it could be il, it could be elle. Ils viennent de gagner un prix. Bravo. Uh, bravo. Ils viennent de gagner un prix. And so they've just won a prize. You can say ils viennent juste de gagner un prix. That works too, by the way. It's just happened. Ils viennent de gagner un prix. Bruce, uh, Chris, ils viennent de gagner. Renzo, ils viennent de gagner. Il a un prix. Uh, shout out. Yes, Renzo. <laughs> I would shout out. Are you, oh, is that a motivator? Are you actually writing the answer so I can shout out your name? I can do that if that motivates you to, to work. Uh, Lenka, il vient de gagner un prix. Moss, uh, can I have a shout out, please? Moss, where is your sentence? <laughs> so, uh, tu es en train d'étudier. Okay, il vient de gagner. Uh, m uh, Babazi, well done, bravo. Okay, uh, perfect. You're good. You are wonderfully good. And I'm so, so, so proud of you. So, all of you. Ils viennent, euh, ouais, viennent de gagner un prix. Now, remember that uh, it has to be uh, infinitive, okay? So, E-R-I-R-O. R -E, okay. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is finish with the last one. Okay. Here we go. And we are about to go on holiday. Mm. Sorry. It's water, by the way. Nothing else. C'est de l'eau. <laughs> Um, and this is my, my mug, by the way. I'm wearing the, the Bisou Bisou t-shirt, trying to do some publicity for our merch. And this is actually, we were very surprised. We ordered it. It's a beautiful uh, mug, uh, the Bisou Bisou mug. I'm wearing my old Bisou Bisou t-shirt as well. Okay, so, nous sommes, alors, uh, Chris, sur le point de. Okay, remember, we're about to go on holiday. Nous sommes sur le point de partir en vacances, Paroul. On est sur le point de partir. That works too, Holly. Um, uh, I'm so proud of how far you have come and how far this channel uh, has come to keep it. Oh, sexy zen. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, well, I'm proud of you too. <laughs> I don't know what you do, but um, thank you. We, we have come a long way and uh, we, we're getting stronger by the minute. So we, I'm proud of my team, most of all. For me, it's what's important. Um, what bisou 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 mi means kiss kiss. It means kiss kiss. Okay. So, nous sommes sur le point d'aller en vacances, Francine. Nous sommes sur le point d'aller en vacances ou on est sur le point de Partir en vacances. OK. Illinois, USA. Illinois, ah, je ne sais pas comment dire en français. Illinois, Illinois, we say. Uh, hey, uh, hello to the USA. Love and peace. <laughs> This is my first lesson and it's just what I need. I have a lot to learn. Ali, it might be a little bit too hard for you if this is your first lesson. OK, there is a huge amount to learn. Uh, OK, so nous sommes sur le point d'aller. Now, remember that Because aller begins with a vowel, you must drop 
the E of D and merge them together. So here we go. These are my answers and you have answered these questions. So uh, Marie and hello to Bulgaria. Uh, one of my best friends is from Bulgaria, la Bulgarie. Uh, Theodora is from Bulgaria. Now, elles sont en train de pleurer. Il est sur le point de manger. Nous venons de sortir de la maison. Tu es en train d'étudier. Ils viennent de gagner un prix. Nous sommes sur le point de partir en vacances. OK. So, Parul, uh, you're the most amazing teacher in the world with the best supportive team. Lots of love from India. All French teachers who need to attend your sessions. Oh, <laughs> Parul, I did not pay Parul to say that, by the way. I didn't. <laughs> Bonjour à l'Indonésie. Now, uh, of course, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Merci, merci, merci. How was this lesson for you? Now, remember, there is a, another lesson at 12.30, and that's why I've got to finish that, because in 30 minutes I'm on again, and this is a tough one. We are covering the TEF exam section uh, C2 which is a tough one to teach. Uh, and I'm sure some people that uh, saw the last one two weeks ago will understand that. Alors, uh, merci à vous tous. Uh, uh, he, it would be smart if you did pay him to play. Well, dr drunk Vigo, I can't do that. It's illegal. So I have not paid anybody to put any comments uh, underneath my, uh, my thing. Okay. Uh, uh, can't wait for the next live, Zach, uh, the next live. Uh, good luck with the next live. It's slightly harder than this one. I hope um, you understand how to use these very three simple expressions, but that will actually help you even if you can't conjugate in the future, the past tense. OK, so that's that's the best way of doing it. Everyone loves Alexa in India. She's a goddess for us. I know, Parul, I'm coming to India one day. <laughs> Just, and uh, I, I would love that. I'm going to Paris in September, Francis. Your lesson, sir. Okay, Francis, good luck in Paris. Uh, ça va être super. Merci, John. I will see you if you are part of the join membership. And if you are part of my website, I will see you in 30 minutes. Au revoir, à bientôt. Et puis, bisous, bisous. Salut, bisous, bisous. Oh, Lynn, bonjour, Lynn. Welcome to The French Club. New member.